Hey guys, it's me Cozy Chicken and welcome to second part of the tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the survivor outfit from default to something that you want. And uh, this is pretty much easy. We have two ways to do this. And um, first one is like changing via body groups and the second one is, which is important, material overrides. So the first way is really easy. We do this using body groups. If you right click on the model, you go down and there's set skin and set body groups. You go to set body groups option and you have like few options in here. Hair, torso and legs. So in order to change the torso to something else, you choose one of these, for example, torso 10. And um, you go to for legs, for instance, I don't know, this, maybe. I'm going to change this to bunny fang and we're going to use the skirt for the example. And in order to have different hair pieces, if you right click on here, if you go to hair, you actually won't get any different hair options. It will just remove the hair. In order to get different hair pieces, you just need the second model that I provide with my assets, which, which is like the accessories models. And uh, the accessories basically include every single headpiece and like such as like other stuff, backpacks or necklaces and stuff like that. You get the idea. In order to attach this hair piece to the base model, you just grab the base model and drag and drop on the accessories and you expand the list by clicking on plus you go to unknown tab again and um, now the thing is you just click on the accessories in order to select everything as you see it's highlighted now if you hold control key and uh, click on these two because they don't have a lock sign next to them so you need to unselect those and now go to procedural tab and uh, just apply the zero slider and drag it all the way to the right and now as you see it attached um, perfect and now I'm gonna change the hair piece for example right click we have so many hair options in here we can choose anything and like I don't know, for example, 12, or like, we can use the bunny fang ears, I guess, which is in hair 11, I suppose. Yes, okay. And we have other options here too. So like necklace, in order to add the necklaces, right? And like earrings, to add earrings. I mean, you, you have so many categories in here. Just mess around with those. And um, I'm going to add the laces shirt, so yeah, I like that. So this is how you change the default outfit to something else. And the second option is using material overrides, which is um, a little bit complicated, but I'm going to explain this in here so you get the idea. So first of all, in order to do that, you right click on your model and uh, add override materials and before we proceed to the next step i just want you to head to the workshop and download this fangbin dead by daylight additional textures what does this do basically um change the base outfits to their recolors in this example you can see we have this bunny fang changed to the green outfit version because by default it comes with pink. So in order to get this green, we need to download this additional textures. And in order to get this green, uh, you just go to the description and you have so many um, texture names in here that we need to copy and paste it over this model. So this is a little bit complicated when you look at it but it's not you 
as I said, you add the override materials and then right click on the model again, show in element viewer and go to model. And now when you look here at the very bottom, you will see the tab called materials. Just click on the plus sign in order to expand it. And you have so many material names in here. And now what are we gonna do? Because there are so many material names and which one belongs to, to these outfits, right? So in order to figure that out, um, when you right click on the model, go to body groups, you can see there's so many code names um, such as like torso, like 01, 02, or like 011. So 011 is the code name for the um, bunny fang outfit, right? So that's why we need to find the code name 011 in here. In this case, we have it right here, FM torso 011. So we right click on this, add attribute, and go to string. Now we're gonna put the dollar sign and base texture. And as you see, our texture goes to pink and black checkerboard thingy. And uh, you go back to this um, workshop page, scroll down, and here we have so many texture names, as I said. If you scroll down, you have outfit 011. So you find this outfit 011, FM torso 011, 01 underscore BC, right? You copy this one, you right click, copy, and then paste it on here and click enter. As you see, it changed the entire thing to the green one and you do the same exactly with the other parts so let's say um, is there any other like called 011 we also need to do the same for the um, accessories so add override materials go to model materials and FM hat 011, which is for the um, the hat, basically. Just copy this line because I say it says like hat 011 in here. You copy this and uh, add override materials and string and base texture. And this is exactly how we change the outfits to their recolors. So let's do the same thing for the skirt. We go to Fang Min because it's not in the accessories, it's in the base model. We go to Element, Viewer, Model, Materials, and scroll down. So the code name for the skirt was um, 002. Yes, it is. And um, you go there. So we have two options legs B002 and legs A002. We go to the workshop page and uh, find the legs. And here are the codes. So, for example, let's change this to this. Or like, okay, let's change this to 003. No, I mean 002 underscore 03, sorry. And um, it says B, so that's why we're gonna put it on the B one. Add attribute, string, and uh, base texture. And put it in there. So it's changed the color. Also, if you realized, uh, we have two options in here. One of them is BC and one of them is underscore N. Underscore N means it's a normal map. So let me show you how to add the normal map as well. While BC is like the diffusion or like the color map. 
we're gonna right click on here again add the attribute string and we're gonna type dollar sign bomb map and uh, we're gonna put the underscore n version so now it added like the um, normal map for our texture so thank you for watching guys and make sure to state in the comments what you want to know next so I can make a tutorial about it and uh, I'll see you in the next one. But till then, take care.